Na 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 and the feeling that it's all a lot of oysters. I, I don't like goes. oysters. I don't like oysters at all, Taylor. Why not? They taste bad. Welcome back to Food Critique Chaps. I think oysters taste bad because it's like slurping snot. It's like eating pussy? No. Very, very unlike eating pussy. Yeah, okay. It's like slurping snot. Like slurping pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Is the pussy you eating uh, snot filled? How dare you? I'm asking a question. How dare you? <laughs> to, to ask a question? How dare you? <laughs> you gonna say anything else? How dare you? How dare you? Should I go that way, Arm? Is that what you want me to do? You want me to go that way? I will. There's a drawer over here. <laughs> There's a drawer with something in it. <laughs> yeah, see, it's a radar. <laughs> How am I supposed to get in there? I don't know. Oh my god. I have, I have a look around. Oh my god. Have a little bit of a. Oh my god. A little bit of an explorer. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> How dare you? Oh my god. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> soundboard. Taylor soundboard. <laughs> Just in case I uh, got myself in here and I needed to get out. What do you want, bitch? Yeah, right. <laughs> in case you got yourself in but you can't get out. You just <laughs> broke the fucking window. Like, just climb back out. <laughs> in a few moments, bitch. <laughs> in a minute, bitch. Arch enemy training card. Do you think it's an evil? Ooh. Oh my god, he's almost. The game looks like it'd be pretty cool. No, it doesn't. Looks like it's gonna be shit. Well, I just like the characters. So. Oh, okay, then that's fine. I can't stand card games. I know. I played really way too many. I don't give a fuck about card games either. You know me and like board game in general. Like, I don't like them. The only game I ever liked was that fucking haunt, like the how the oh house, yeah haunt on house, house hill. hill yeah whatever <laughs> like that was the only one I actually liked because I thought the premise was interesting and I liked the randomness of it yeah betrayal on the house in the hill yeah like haunt the house on haunted hill or whatever the fuck it's called because I, I just liked that like depending upon the circumstances like the scenario would be changed every single time yeah and it's like that was more interesting than like actually trying to see who wins and who loses. Kind of ran like a monkey, didn't it? <laughs> so you got the fucking explosive one. <laughs> How are you aiming that, bitch? Ooh, look at the footprints. That's cool. <laughs> oh, they got good arches. Look at that. Mm -hmm. I don't have any arches. I I, I have flat feet. You need a flat foot, motherfucker. You know what that makes you? A punk bitch. Yeah. Stalkers. See, this is what I was talking about. Well, here you go. I feel like they use the stalkers a little bit more in this game than they did in the first one. Not by that much, but they... they... I think they only used the stalkers twice or maybe even three times I was gonna in the say, first game. I was going to say, yeah, probably around there, two or three times. Uh, in this game, it's maybe like five or six times. Maybe. Okay, that's not bad. It's a couple times. It's not like, you know, they're not there a ton, but they are they're there. They're enough. Yeah, like there's there's definitely more than in the first one. That's for sure. So the rangefinder, yeah, where that white dot ends up going, that's where the arrow will go. And that's one of the reasons why I think the... Uh, but was better in this game. Although, in the first game they showed the arc, so whatever. I guess you knew that all the way anyway. Yeah. But, as a result, it feels like this one is a little bit more long-range than, than in the first game, I feel. Because, uh, 
I don't know. Like the the rangefinder helps you kind of like you know determine like just how far it'll go. It's pretty sweet. I like it. I like it like that. I like the look of the stalkers in this one too. I think they look better because they just are more like fungal and kind of more animalistic. I feel like than in the first one. Because in the first one they felt like a... <laughs> oh dude, that was cool. He broke the fucking arrow, I think. That was cool. Yeah, see, like, they're kind of more like feral. Look at, look at the way they run. Like, that's cool. Come on, come on. Fuck you. Can't run away from All me. All the, like, fungal, like, the mushrooms are kind of like antlers or something. No, fuck you. Because in, in the first one, they were kind of just like glorified runners, sort of. Yeah, with like red eyes, I believe. Yeah, kind of like reddish eyes. Actually, that's kind of a cool thing in this game, too. If you can see one from a distance, like you can see, you know how like, you know, like dogs have like that reflective eye thing going on? Like cats and Yeah, dogs, you yeah. can see that on the stalkers in this game, too. Oh. If you look at them from a distance, like you can see like their, um, like, yeah, the reflective eye thing going on. It's fucking cool. It's a very neat little, like, visual thing. I saw you. Because <laughs> there's been a couple of moments where, like, you can, like, see their eyes. It's fucking creepy, but it's cool. Yeah, like, right there, you see it, like, very, yeah. like, briefly. It's really neat. I don't know. Mm. Little shit like that, that's really fucking cool. That was a nice shot. Thank you. So you're fucking dope with the the bow, man. Oh, oh. as I say that, <laughs> the fuck, man. <laughs> I was scared. <laughs> I find it funny that we're like we could end the series, the fart series, but we're choosing not to. <laughs> At some point, we just gotta be like, all right, it's fucking done. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't just, we, we're picking and choosing, and we're allowed to do that. Yeah, we are. Is that one, the one you just did, is that part of it? Uh, yeah, of course. Okay. Every one of them is a part of Which it. Which one? What is that, 9 2? Yeah, 9 2. Okay. Spores a plenty. <laughs> Going through the running through the version numbers. Here's <laughs> the updates. Yeah, we're getting those updates. <laughs> so dumb. So dumb. Because <laughs> then we're gonna hit nine nine and then it's gonna be like alright, nine nine one. <laughs> yeah. Nine nine two. Oh, no, I don't wanna swap. Well yeah, I do wanna swap, but I also wanna craft. So no. craft. I say we don't go past the hundredths. So if okay. we hit nine nine, the next one is seventy. It has to be. <sighs> I guess we'll have to just hope it's a good one. I'm just gonna have to like really Cause... shit myself. Because <laughs> we're good. <laughs> I'm not, we're, we're, I'm, this series isn't going on forever, okay? So tops, we got what? Eight more. <laughs> yep. Eight more until we get a, until we get one that we're happy with. We have eight more chances, basically, <laughs> yeah. before we just gotta live with the the, just the littlest. Because we'll at, right. at this point, we're just fucking like you we're know. Just farting to fart. But at the same time, we've been picking and choosing too because there's plenty of farts that are unaccounted for that aren't part of the series. So we it's could true. just say they're not part of the series, you know. Non-canon farts. Yeah, non-canon farts. Those were the scripted farts. Those ones. I mean, technically, yeah, some of these are kind of scripted. Because I lean in and we... For a second and then it just... <laughs> well, then are, does that make the other ones ineligible, though? <laughs> for being part of the unscripted fart family? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> 
<laughs> there's uh, is there a guidebook for this? <laughs> no, there's <laughs> only only in our heads. Okay. I'm running around. Nobody can stop me. Anything? Oh yes. Gimme, give gimme. Give I haven't seen anyone else. They're all farted out, man. I also like how at this point we're not acknowledging her arm. It still just wants that door that you've left behind now. <laughs> it's fine. At least I always know my way home. Yeah, right. I just follow the arm. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Oh yeah, I should probably, now that uh, it looks like everyone's dead. Let me go and grab this shotgun ammo. So when are you coming home? Sweet angel. Sweet baby. Or sweet Caroline. Alright. <laughs> I just think that's in the come on it. <laughs> come on it. <laughs> yeah, please. Oh god, that's funny. That's some funny shit. Oh, okay. I must have missed something over here. <laughs> I'm like, who's fucking up over? <laughs> no, that's my chair. I wish I were fucking. You better believe. Holy shit. You better believe if I had the chance to fuck, I'd be I out mean... of this I'd be out of the show right now. I'd be like, alright, bye Billy. This will be your solo playthrough for at least three minutes. <laughs> three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least just, we're honest. Just jump straight to the fuck and then it's over. <laughs> no foreplay, just straight fucking. <sighs> no, dude, the foreplay is like the best part. Sometimes. That's why I call it five play. Because <laughs> I'm always foreplay. I don't know, but maybe maybe it's not the best part. But it's pretty pretty freaking sweet. <laughs> you know? I, I like the foreplay. I do too. If you ain't doing the foreplay, you ain't doing the well, sex yeah, you can't you can't just go straight into it. Like, that's... Because then it will be just like three minutes of <laughs> three minutes of ecstasy. Boy, your mama really cares about your education. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where's the bloat? It's time to fuck off this bloater. I'm gonna jack off this Ooh, bloater. This is a pretty sweet looking office. Yeah, kind of kind of looks here. a little bit like an old library or something, but whatever. Yeah. Nice little building. What it is, dog? All right, well, I'm just trying to play a prank on you. And you scared me. Ooh, he blew his fucking leg off. Hell yeah, dude. You should do that to a human enemy next time. Ooh, does that does that one have a penor? Yeah, he's got a little penis. Look at, see? They got a little wiener on him. <laughs> a little wiener. Isn't that funny? And there's like, he's got all, all these pubes too. <laughs> you see the pubes? Yeah. That's fucking crazy. Whose job was it to be like, all right, Ricky, you got to make pubes on the clickers today. Do I have to? Can I just make the vaginas? Yeah. Well, if you make a vagina, you're going to have to put pubes over that too. <laughs> and then he submits his model. And then he, the guy's like, no, pubier. I need more pubes. <laughs> think. Think. <laughs> Thank Johnny. This guy has not shaved in at least seven years. We need His pubes. pubes. Are going to be outrageous. Yeah, we need a bush. Okay. Think, think like the eighties. <laughs> Better yet, but the worse seventies. <laughs> you know how they had afros in the seventies? I want that, but in pubes. Oh my god! Oh, sorry, you scared me. Hello. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Her fucking leg came off. <laughs> we good. <laughs> he stopped her in the fucking face. I don't know, like, I just like the clean cut of that leg. <laughs> and there's no blood coming from the leg. No, all the blood's in the head. And the penis. Those are the only places where she blood is. She has a penis? She might. Wouldn't that be funny if they had a clicker with titties and a penis? 
So it could oh be very god. progressive. Oh, um, yeah. oh my god, the clickers are trans, dude. <laughs> so this is what happens. <laughs> Well, just when I was saying to myself that this game doesn't have a bunch of SJW crap in it, and here it is. <laughs> <laughs> like, even the enemies are fucking trans all of a sudden. Here we go, here we go. I hope nobody comes at me. Oh, my arm's still... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Ah! Jesus Christ! <laughs> what the fuck, man? It's because their arm is not working. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. Oh, now her arm is fixed. God damn it. <laughs> Is it though? Yeah. Oh, it is. <laughs> All right, Billy, you gotta go back to that house. <laughs> yeah, you start fucking breaking it down. That was a bummer because that would have been funny to see this cutscene with their arm outstretched. Not well. It was fun while it lasted. Into the river, just yeah. With, like seriously, that would have been so funny to see that right there. Oh well. It's not a big deal. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> going down, down, shoot it up. Going down. Down, 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 shoot it up. Shoot it up, going down, screaming. And then. Oh, hey, I made it. Cool. <laughs> I'm all wet. And Dina's not even here. We fuck Seattle. We fuck Seattle with cock and blow. Uh, oh, hold on. Wait a minute. Really disturbance. <laughs> all right, 69.3. 69.93. Oh, yeah, sorry. 69.93. We, we can't go back. <laughs> At this point, this this video, is, the the fart compilation video is going to be like 20 minutes long. Yeah. We built this. We built this. I don't think we're ever going to be satisfied. <laughs> that's, uh, that's the problem with genius. <laughs> <laughs> With perfection. Yeah, you can't. You can't be... Are you trying to find the way to that door? Yeah. I think it's back up by the door. Probably. It is. Most Just likely. fucking play through this part, like this fucking... I feel like I can oh. I can walk across that. No, that's the way you're supposed to go. Oh. Go back up by the door. We built this shitty on a crock and blown. Zero. Try and get in the water there. Maybe mm, there's a thing. But what if there's gross? There's what? What if there's gross, like poopies? <laughs> I mean, there's gonna be poopies. <laughs> but I don't want to get touched by poopies, Taylor! <laughs> I could get the disease. What, the Rona? Yeah. <laughs> the Rona's like the last of your worries in this world. Is this 2020 or is it later, later than 2020? Oh, it's 20... Ew, you, you're gross. I don't like you, you're gross. She's malnourished as fuck. I do like that. That's new. The fact that they can just come off the walls like that sometimes. Pretty nifty. I yeah. like it. Um, this would be 2037. 2037? Yes. So they've, they've already been past Rona for a while. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully they've been past Rona for I a while. I fucking hope so. Jesus Christ. Man, um, imagine fucking 2030 and there's still Rona. Uh, to this degree, I'd be fucking pissed. I mean, there probably will still be Rona, just not like how it is now. Yeah. I hope. Unless the world starts to end. Which then, well, you know, at least we've been playing The Last of Us, so we know... Yeah, that's when, like, The Last of Us 4 will be out. And it's just like, Jesus, what's there was barely anything left of us in the first game. What's left of us in number four now? Two people. Fuck. 
Two people <laughs> fisty cuffing in, in mud. It's basically just 10 Cloverfield Lane, but as a game somehow. It's just two people stuck John, in a bunker. John Goodman. Yeah, just like two to three people stuck in a bunker together. If John Goodman were in Last of Us, it'd be all about it. Oh, like, yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> like, he was more of that. Probably, um, let's see, it connects to the sewers, so probably, um... Ooh, this part's cool. You're gonna love, the, you're gonna love this part. It's probably Town Hall. What? Get in, get in. Because oh. cause it's connected to the sewers and politicians are shit, you know, t Town Hall. That's true. Do you get in? Yes. Okay. Very clever. Very Thank solid. you. Thank you. I'll be here Time. until 10. Time. Timeless. It's a timeless joke. Well, it will stay timeless forever. I think you're gonna like this part. This part's cool. I is like. It, is this there part. dinosaurs? Uh, maybe. Yes. Cordyceps T Rex finally shows up. Okay, so I just gotta jump through this uh wooden area, cut through the park. Oh, I like parks. Parks and wreck. It's a good show. Nope. No? You don't like Parks and Rec? No, I'm saying Leslie Nope. Oh. He's my favorite character. On that piece of shit show. I hate it. I actually don't hate it. I, I never really watched it. <laughs> it's a good show. I watched it like once or twice. I'm like, eh, it's fine. It's like The Office. I don't really care for it. Yeah. It's just not my kind of show. I like The Office. I know a lot of people do. I'm just not one of those people. Sorry. You should be. I don't hate it, I just don't like it. Oh, strange whistles. Why is there music swelling up? What is this? Itchy. Ooh, hot dog. Nobody likes. Oh! Hey, oh. guy. <laughs> I hope he's okay. I'll go investigate by going around. It wouldn't give me a bunch of tall grass if there wasn't a use for it. <laughs> You're right. All right, I have to be stealthy. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, my fucking cooter. <laughs> it was the fart that set them off. <laughs> you push it through. You push it oh, through. Oh, my you fucking cooter. <laughs> oh, you don't pull it out like that. So now they introduced new enemies. Hooray! The whistlers. Now these are the scars. Or That's what I asked. No. <laughs> oh! Fuck. <laughs> Fuck is right. See, I always thought it'd be cool if you could uh, whistle. I wish they did that more. Like, they didn't. She didn't say anything. She's just rushing at you. Like she's silent. You know. Mm, I'll keep this one for. They now. don't really do that with the the scars a whole lot. Like they do this kind of like communication through the whistling, which is cool. Mm -hmm. Like that's really neat. But like they still kind of do the same thing of like, um, kind of like what the wolves do, where they kind of will like. They'll call you out, like they work like a team, which is good, but I'm just saying, like, I think it'd be cool if like if these guys could stealth on you potentially, you know, if you're yeah. not careful. Which that's what I thought this was gonna be like when I first encountered them, and it is to a degree, but I think it would have been cool if they could stealth on you somehow.
See, like, what if he was fucking prone in somewhere, you know? Like, that'd be cool. Yeah. It'd be impossible to see him. But I'm just, I don't know. See, when they whistle, they just telegraph their position, like, to everybody. Hello. <laughs> Jesus. Hello. So that bitch you had a lot of time to react. Oh, two arrows, fuck yeah. Now do these whistle and Santy's got uh fucking doggies too? Um maybe? I don't remember. I like these enemies. I just, I think they could have done a little bit more just to kind of differentiate them from the wolves a little bit. Mm -hmm. Like, it's cool that they use bows. Like, that's nice. But I'm just saying, like, oh, um, well, this is gonna do some damage. Yeah. But I really don't want this one. I'm gonna go out, grab the other one. That's a two-handed one. That is a two-handed one. This one's a. But four uses. Yeah. Yeah, I just... I like the scars. I, I do think they're cool. I'm just saying, like, yeah, I think it would have been nice if they kind of, like, kept them as, like, a stealthier kind of group. I don't know where it went. Okay. Whatever. Um, you'll kind of see how they progress a little bit over the course of the game, but... They're probably bloody maniacs. They're wild. Wild and crazy kids with <laughs> Omar Gooding. But they're, but they're primarily just... They more. are... Yeah. The wild and crazy kids with Omar Gooding as their leader. <laughs> that would be They've been sick. training this like, whole time. And Jeff Turncoat. <laughs> and Jeff Turncoat. And girl. Yeah, and female. I have a day. Yeah, fuck you. Oh, good. <laughs> I don't know what he's up to. You know what's sad is me and Melissa watched um, The Mighty Ducks the other day. You ever seen that movie? Yeah. In 1992, Emilio Estevez teaching kids how to play hockey. Yeah. There's one kid in there, Goldberg. Oh, what the fuck is his name? Sean something? Do I want a five or do I want a four? Sean Willis or something? I forgot what his name is. But anyway, the the child actor who uh, played the goalie. Mm -hmm. A little bit of a heavier set kid. Not like fat, but like a little bit bigger. Yeah. Turns out he grew up to be a meth head. Oh, nice. He, was, he must not be skinny or fat anymore. No, no, he's he's gone to shit. Um, but like in more recent posts, like there has has been, uh, he's been 107 days sober, and he has put on a little bit more weight since then. But like he was arrested for like some like possession charges or whatever it was. I forgot. But classic. Whatever it was, it, it's just, it sucks, man. Like, you see a little kid, and, like, you see, like, him in this movie, and he's, like, you know, all happy and shit, and then grows up to be a fucking meth head. Like, that's not cool. <laughs> I mean, that's one of the worst things you can do is become a uh, child actor. Yeah, right. Because you just get fucked. Both figur figuratively and literally, <laughs> in some cases. I guess so. Because, you know, all those child... Predator rings that they got in the Hollywood. Yeah, like Jeffrey Epstein. Yeah. Who miraculously died. Do you believe that he committed suicide? Have you watched the documentary on the, no. the docu-series on Netflix? No, I haven't. I really sure. haven't made up my mind on that, mainly because I don't care that much. I don't care that much either, but like after watching the docu-series, like, it paints a picture that he wasn't fucking... He didn't commit suicide. <laughs> yeah. But, I don't know. There's just a lot of very convenient things. Like, 
first of all, like the fact that he's in prison for like two days before he gets before he's found dead. Yeah, it's like oh, that was quick. Conveniently, that like the the guard that was supposed to be watching his cell just happened to not be there. <laughs> and all the cameras were off. All, all the all cameras kind of were all of the cameras were off. And then the coroner like was able to like get like a piece of a collarbone or something like that, and like it was fractured. And he's like, yeah, and the way in which he hung himself, which I believe he tied a, like a cloth around his neck, tied it to like the bedpost, and then like just like leaned forward to like strangle himself. Mm -hmm. um, the, doesn't the amount that of, doesn't work. Yeah, the amount of pressure to like have fractured that bone was not something that he could have achieved by doing that. Yeah. So it's like, I don't know. Most likely someone killed him. Most likely somebody killed him, but, like, what what it just, like, kind of would confuse me, though, is, like, I don't know what the rest of the, like, coroner results, or, like, the, you know, the autopsy would have revealed, you know, whatever the cause of death would have been. Yeah. You know, maybe it was strangulation still, but, like, just somebody did it very forcefully. <laughs> more, more likely, yeah. But then, you know, we, we haven't seen the body. Nope. But I'm just saying, like, I don't know. It's just... There's a lot of, like, really convenient things like that that just made me think that he didn't commit suicide. But, yeah. <laughs> whatever. But now they have his accomplice. I know. So, so we'll, she'll, we'll see how long she lasts. Yeah, she'll end up dead within in prison within a couple of, couple of days here. <laughs> Next time on Chinstrap Chaps, we talk about uh, Epstein shit. <laughs>